ولقد يسرنا القرآن للذكر فهل من مدكر Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Welcome to the new short video tutorial. We are in part 2 of lesson 7 of book 1. Let's finish up this lesson today. We have a single page left, which is page number 41. At the top of the page, we have exercise 2. Here we have the khabars of the simple ismiya sentences given. All we need to do is to pick the right gender of the ismul ishara, thalika and tilka. As we already know by now, both of them mean that, but thalika is mudakkar and Tilke is Mu'annath ism. Let's start. Number one. Ummun. A mother. How do we say that is a mother? Tilke ummun. Very good. Next. Abun. A father. I do want to say that is a father. It will be. Thalike abun. Now we have qalamun. Which is mudakkar. So we should say. ذلك قلم That is a pen. Next, ملعقة A spoon. مؤنث اسم. So we write تلك for مبتدا. تلك ملعقة That is a spoon. تلك ملعقة Number five. عين An eye. Was this اسم مذكر or مؤنث? Remember, it is a double body part, so it should be مؤنث. Let's write تلك then. Tilke Ainun. There is an eye. Tilke Ainun. Number six. Hajarun. A stone. With Hajarun, we will use Dalike. Dalike Hajarun. That is a stone. Next. Qamisun. A shirt. Another mudakkarism. So we use Dalike again. Dalike Qamisun. That is a shirt. Now we have Qidrun. This, if you remember, is a mudakkar looking muannathism. We should use tilke for it. Tilke qidrun. That is a cooking pot. Number nine, nafizatun. A window. A muannathism. So we should write tilke nafizatun. That is a window. Next, baqaratun. A cow. It is muannath. It should be tilke baqaratun. That is a cow. Tilke baqaratun. Number eleven, maktabun. A desk, that is a desk, will be ذَلِكَ مَكْتَبٌ Number 12. نَاقَةٌ A she-camel. Tilke is the appropriate ismul ishara here. Tilke نَاقَةٌ means that is a she-camel. Tilke نَاقَةٌ Next. مُهَنْدِسٌ An engineer. It is a mudakkarism, so we should write ذَلِكَ مُهَنْدِسٌ That is an engineer. Can we convert muhandisun to a muannath form? How do we do it? We add ta marbuta to the end and so a female engineer becomes muhandisatun. Muhandisun is a male engineer and muhandisatun is a female engineer. Next one. Mu'adhinun. A mu'adhin. We should write ذَلِكَ mu'adhinun. That is a mu'adhin. Number 15. Mumarridatun. A female nurse. So we will write tilke for it. Tilke mumarridatun. That is a female nurse. Tilke mumarridatun. Next, sarirun. A bed. A mudakkarism. So we will use thalike for it. Thalike sarirun. That is a bed. Next, hadiqatun. This is our recently learned new word which means a garden. Hadiqatun is muannath, right? So we will say tilke hadiqatun. That is a garden. Tilke hadiqatun. Number 18, Talibatun. It is Mu'annath, so we should write Tilke in the blank. Tilke Talibatun. That is a student. Next, Jamalun. A camel. Mudakkarism. So we will say, Thalika Jamalun. That is a camel. Thalika Jamalun. And finally, Dattatun. A duck. Dattatun is Mu'annath because of the Tamar Vuta. So we will use Tilke. Tilke Dattatun. That is a duck. We are done with this lesson. Next, we have a list of new words. Let's go over them real quick. al The nurse. al al The garden. al al The duck. 
البطة المؤذن ذا مؤذن المؤذن الناقة ذا شي كامل الناقة البيضة ذا إيج البيضة Okay, these were the new words of the lesson. Now at the bottom of the page, we have a table given. Let's see what it is saying. In the right column, we have two example sentences. هذا محمد And below it, هذه آمنة Above these two sentences, we have a note saying أسماء الإشارة للقريب Here, أسماء is the plural form of the word ism. So, أسماء الإشارة is the plural form of اسم الإشارة can you tell why the word asma'un is losing the tanwin here? That is because it is coming as mudaf, right? And the next part is lil qaribi, which is jar majrur, meaning for the near. Lil qaribi. So together, asma'ul isharati lil qaribi means the demonstrative ism words for the near. It is referring to the underlined words here. Hada and hadhi are the asma'ul isharati lil qaribi. Because both هذا and هذه are used to point at people or things that are near. In the left column, we have examples of أسماء الإشارة للبعيد. Here, للبعيد is another جر مجرور phrase. البعيد, as we know, means far. So, للبعيد means for the far. ذلك and تلك, as in the ذلك حامد, تلك زينب, are considered أسماء الإشارة للبعيد. Because we use them to point at the people and things or animals that are far from us. Let's try to remember this terminology if we can. Or at least remember the ismul ishara and asma'ul ishara, okay? There are a couple of characteristics of the asma'ul ishara that we should keep in mind. First one is what we already talked about before, which is that asma'ul ishara words are all ma'rifa. Do you remember why they are ma'rifa? Because when we say hadha or hadhihi, we are already pointing at or talking about something definite or something that we already know. That is why they are considered ma'rifa, even if they do not have al-article. The second characteristic of these asma'ul ishara is that they are mabni words, meaning they do not show apparent case endings when coming as mansub or majrur. For example, if we put harf jar before any of this ism, it does not change as in min hadha, ila dhalika, ala tilka, and so on. Let's try to remember these two characteristics of this ism if we can. I will remind you of these characteristics once again when we run across example sentences in the book. Okay, that was the end of lesson 7. It was a short lesson, alhamdulillah. Last two lessons were primarily about asma'ul ishara, and I hope we all had enough practice using these special types of ism. If you think this wasn't enough, do not worry. We will get a lot more exposure to this ism in the next lesson, insha'Allah. Until the next video, Assalamu Alaikum.